Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, or good morning, whatever time zone you may be in. Last we left off with Fallout 4 Horizon, we had just finished our little excursion, I should say. It really wasn't much. Over to Abernathy Farms to get some Tato. Found a pretty decent laser pistol. Unfortunately, I have no cells for it, but that's okay. It's better to have it and, you know, I guess I have it and I need it, but technically, I mean, we'll, we'll go up to the end. <laughs> uh, we're going to drop off some stuff. It's not necessary. This thing is honestly terrible. What I'll probably do is keep that pipe weapon and switch it over to 38. Because it's better. I don't need that. I don't need that. That might be useful later on, but whatever. We're going to put those away now for now just because I don't need them now. And now we can store all the food. We actually might be able to make some food now. I'm going to put those in. Actually, I'll put it all in there. I see. Keep one nuka. Put those away. Like I said, you're going to need the purified water for other things, especially early game. Especially early game. Okay. Uh, so, magazines. Uh, I can show you what to do with magazines. Uh, how many of those? How many of those? 25? I don't know. Definitely don't need 357. Like I said, you have to go through all that stuff, guys, because in, in Horizon and, and even in regular Fallout 4 survival, ammunition has weight, so you don't want to carry a bunch of ammo. Uh, what you do to switch the ammo types on certain weapons is you, you select the weapon, and then you go over to aid to the weapon kit. Fortunately, this weapon's ammo cannot be changed, which means the only way to change the ammo on this weapon is to do it in here. See, I can do it from here. So I can make it 38 ammo. I can make it 45. I can make it 38. Uh, once you get your ballistics up and you get some weapon parts, you can actually fix your weapons and make make sure they, they do improve damages. And things. I know for a fact right now I really can't do shit to these weapons, so I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to use them as I get them. Like, the X-24 laser pistol is probably my best weapon, but unfortunately I don't have any fusion cells. I'll get some. I also forgot to check that bag on the top of that house. We'll do that here in a second. Um, yeah, meat, 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 meat. Uh, I could do a grilled rad stag, but I don't. Well, actually, if I do a grilled rad stag, it gives me a meal. So why not? Instead of grinding it, because we got other meat to grind. Mole rat. Dog. Some more exotic. Bloat fly. Uh, oh shit, you need to save those. Shit, shit. Yeah, you need to save bloat fly and blood bug. Blah, 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 blah. Let me go ahead. I'm gonna. Because there's something on the chemistry station. I know we need a couple more of those because I used them. But under remedies, all the way at the bottom, you need bloat fly meat, blood bug meat, and blood leaf. Purified water and acid to make mosquito tonic. Mosquito tonic is one of two ways to get rid of parasites. So, and it's also a hydration thing too, so. Really good to have. So if you get blood bug meat and you get bloat fly, it's best to save them instead of scrapping them. Okay, so. I won't probably ever use the uh, memory things just because I actually have an autosave mod. I fixed the lighting. I turned the Darker Knights down to rank 2 instead of rank 5. So you'd be able to see shit. Let's go ahead. What we're going to do is we're going to actually explore this hillside today. All that territory behind Sanctuary Hills. Well, better than nothing. Because I know that I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I got 21. Uh, also, there's one quick thing I wanted to show people is water. Now, excuse me, take a drink of my coffee. Water is super irradiated in this mod. I'm going to do it just to show. Oh, come on. Really? Okay, we'll go out into deeper water then. Okay, he's falling. What? Oh my god. Uh, 
Come on. Go quickly. You don't have bats defense in this game mode too, by the way. In regular Fallout 4 survival, you still had bats defense. And even in some of the other, I think, Grim you do. But you don't in Horizon and you don't in Frost. So you will take full damage in bats. What I was trying to show you before blood bugs decided... Or, yeah. Blood flies decided to attack me. Was if you find deep water... Am I a, a fucking god? There it is. See how high that rads is? And that's with a little bit of rad resist on. If you were wearing just straight armor with no rad resist, you'd be taking 10 to 15 per second in the water. It's insanely high. So, for the most part, you want to stay out of deep waters. Which, I mean, kind of makes sense probably want to do that anyway in irradiated waters see i want to fish but i don't think i can make a fishing rod yet it's a really good way to get some uh, ground meat but also i don't think my skill is high enough for me to even get any ground meat right now. oh there's dogs over there i don't that's a lot of them i mean i could no i'm not gonna waste a grenade on dogs i'm gonna get them coming this way Put a few pot shots in them. And I'm out. Oh, will you hold still? Damn it. And my arm's been busted. Of course it has. Dog me, do your job. Injury kit. Stupid dog. Alright, whatever. Oh, yeah, and while you're under the recuperations of the injury kit, you can't sprint. It restores a small amount of health, but it restores your limb conditions all to max over time. Like I said, I'm doing that shit for meat. Honestly. I'm collecting this stuff for Skeeto Tonic later on. Hey, right arm. Some more meat. Ruined. Ruined means I can't put it on. That sucks. The right one. I, oh, they're degraded. Okay. So it's not that one I can't put on. But, hey, better than nothing. It's like, yay, my character has a little tiny bit of armor now. But yeah, I got a fishing pole. But in order to make... It goes into your miscellaneous, I believe. Yeah, your miscellaneous tools and miscellaneous. See the fishing rods here. Um, but in order to make you actually have to do it at a bench, and you have to cast while standing in water. So you want to find an area of water where you're just kind of in there in your ankles and cast. You can do it right outside in sanctuary waters, actually. You don't have to be super deep in water. But like What I'm doing is I'm just collecting stuff because you'll need... The flowers. Oh shit, I don't want to go on there. Nope, nope, nope. You kidding me? Those Myolurks will annihilate me. I thought I said this is 38. Oh, I was using the 45s. Okay. Well, that makes sense. I wouldn't use 38 normally. because 38 is terrible but if it's all you got it's all you got you need those for stuff what the hell what the hell was that I've never seen that before she was shooting crossbow bolts Does she have a crossbow Oh, she had a repeating bolter. Different. Um, that actually is really good. Oh, no, it's not. Go buy. Nope. I don't even need to carry that right now either. Screw it. Actually, a lot of stuff, though. Green 
shirt and combat boots. No. But yeah, she, repeating bolter. It's it's a crossbow that was built into the mod. But I still have the the uh, mod crossbows of the Commonwealth, so it's a different mod. Uses different ammunition, which is cool. I mean, this actually is considered a sniper weapon if you put a scope on it. I can even put a ghetto scope on it, and it's, it's considered a sniper weapon. There's something this way, I just don't know what. The f this fence is the boundary line. See, like, I can go this way a little bit, but then I'll get that message, you can't go that way. There it is. See? So, like, that fence technically is the boundary line. You can go a little bit beyond the boundary line, but not much. There's actually a couple of hidden locations out here too. See, like there's an attack dog and a raider right there. That might be worth a grenade. Do I have it equipped? Nope, but I do now. That wait, they killed someone else for this shack? Did you oh. hear that? You're going down, bitch. Fuck you. Oh, I killed your dog. What are you going to do? Oh, yeah. Headshots do actually improve damage. Not only on the enemy, but on you too. So, keep that in mind. I'm lucky too because she had 5.56. Five, um, I can wear the bandana. Why not? Nope. Nope. And an on the arm. Yeah, she killed a postman. What did the postman do to you, bitch? Noodle cups. Awesome. Four of them? What? Well, I just got food for the next day. Noodle cups give uh, really good razor grain in dirty water. Make a noodle cup. They do not irradiate you. Very little weight, but they give you food and water when you eat them. So that's food for the next day. Where oh, I gotta find the dog though? Oh, there he is. Dog meat. Hey. I got you a piece of armor, even though it does nothing. There you go. Okay, so that's not worth anything. It's not worth enough for me to be carrying it around. I'll keep that because I can break it down later like you want to keep this stuff to break it down like eventually I'll be able to scrap it in the field but I can't right now so what I'll do is I'll just take all this shit back to sanctuary and store it oh there's gunshots and they're shooting at me Go! What are you waiting for? Yeah, I do. Prick. Eat shit. Even though I burned out all my AP doing that. Wow. Yeah, I'm glad I got him. Dude had a lot of fucking 308 that would have killed me probably I don't know where he came from just random dude oh that is one of the things that's in inc incorporated in this mod is, is they call I think Wanderer called it combat stalkers I don't know exactly what it is that could be its name I don't know but uh you randomly will get attacked by different people out in the wasteland for your actions. So if you kill a lot of raiders, well, the raiders are probably going to come after you. If you kill a lot of gunners, the gunners are going to come after you. So on and so forth. Um, so at random times uh, during your playthrough, you could just randomly get attacked for no good reason. Which has its ups and downs. I mean, randomly getting attacked sucks, but if you kill them, you get their loot and Potential for upgrades, potential for more scrap, you know, all that fun stuff. 
Let's go for around behind the vault. Like I said, I'm just gonna spend the next, I don't know, give or take 45 minutes to an hour exploring around the vaults, gathering some stuff, trying to hit level five. Because what my plan is, is when I hit five, I'll take the appropriate perks that I can start becoming a sniper. I do emphasize start. Um, and then go to the first quest to deal with Preston and the Death Claw. Like, when I watched somebody else do this playthrough, they came out back here and they found all kinds of shit. Like, there's all kinds of shit hidden back here. Like, seriously. I mean, hub flower is good. You're, you need that. So collect this stuff. Or if you've been playing Fallout 76, it's the toxic flower, I believe. But yeah, like, I think for the stews, you need it for one of the stews. Uh, there's a small raider camp up near that tower. It has three or four raiders. Like I said, I, I'll save frequently just to, for, like I said, for two reasons. One, survival modes are hard as shit. Two, Fallout 4 has a tendency to crash a lot. That's it. Ooh, a light bulb. Watch out. Eh, I can't complain. It's copper. I need copper. Also, I'm not one of those people that spends the entire game moving around in stealth. That's really slow going. If you die, that's what saves are for. This isn't real life. It's a fucking video game. If you want real life survival, join the army. Do what I did. Then you'll understand how saves are quite useful. Because you can't save in real life. I've already lived that life. I've already dodged quite a few bullets. I don't need to do it in the video game, too. Okay, we got ghouls. At least it's not frost. Ghouls and frost are literally almost, almost indestructible enemies. Like, unless you can do a, se a severe amount of damage to their stomach, you have to hit them in the head. And without the bullet time, it can be very difficult the way ghouls move, because... They kind of, you know, flop around. Like, you'll see when after they stand up, I'll show you. It's very difficult to hit them in the head. Although, I could probably sneak up on this one. Or not. You see, like, I'm struggling right now just to get him in the head. Although, admittingly, uh, degraded weapons have reduced accuracy. So, that's something to consider. You're gonna get shot in the knees. That's one thing I would highly recommend. I mean, I do it to robots. I go for knee shots on the robots. But with ghouls, shoot them in the kneecaps. If you don't kill them with kneecap shots, at least you have one thing that you can do with kneecap shots is you can get them to drop to the ground. And then you can just use melee to finish them off. I don't know what these are used for, but I'm sure they're used for something. It's kind of funny considering all this stuff in the base game is pretty much used for nothing. I don't know why that is. It just is. But yeah, you can see it now. My, my stealth meter is way at the bottom of the screen. I actually forgot that it was there. And I always forget that it's there when I'm playing because I'm so used to seeing it like at the top from watching other YouTubers. But I hide mine. Yep, he lost me. Well, there's unfortunately a lot of you guys and only one of me. That hit. Oh my god, it's doing nothing. It's doing literally nothing. Eat that. Got a couple of them. Come on. Got him. Out. Oh, 
Shit. Down. Shit. Got him. Hidden. Oh my god, we survived. I was I was afraid I was gonna have to use one of my two combat stim packs right now. I didn't want to. There are rarities. Uh back. Ah fuck it, just take it all. We'll go through it. Thirty eight rounds are always good because Oh that's nice. I like that. Okay. Gas mask with goggles. Some more rad resist. Deteriorated forty thirty, yeah. I need him for the leather. I should honestly save all this crap for the leather because I need the leather. Hey look, 22 light round. Um, 20. Yep, better than that one. Not by a lot, but still better. Um, yeah, shot one. Here he is. Adrenaline injector, nice. A lot of pipe rifles. No. I mean, I still have plenty of weight. It's not an issue of weight right now. It's the deteriorated stuff has a lot less weight. Pipe rifle. See, now that's better. We need rifles because I want to be a sniper. Yeah, rat stack roast. It's food. Did I say mole rat stew? I did. Mole rat stew. Huh. So I guess there is a mole rat food. Yeah, this was the area I was talking about that had all the raiders. There's, I think, one or two. If you go around the backside here, there's a little shack. You can have a raider. Not always. Most of the time, it's nothing. I think there's also uh, one of these power lines has a... Shit, that's an albino. I hate the albinos. Killed the survivalist over here. One hundred percent load. Holy shit! DC guard helmet. Nice. That actually might be an upgrade to my current helmet. Hey, chest piece. Is that one? Was that one hundred percent? Nope. Only thirty. Nice. Twenty. Character's starting to look real ridiculous, but you know what? I don't care. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shit. 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 Stop attacking while I attack, you fuck! Damn it! Fucking dogs. Just used the bandage, too. I definitely need a point in first aid to make these bandages a lot better, because these are fucking terrible. That and you, once you get a point in it, you can start making the medicated ones, which they heal a little bit faster and they do heal more. They cost a little bit more to make, but who cares? Better healing. It's not like stim packs and fall out. Yeah, I can't go that way. Like you could use the compass, but what the fuck's the point? Like there's a shack. Compass doesn't do dick. It's a cat. Like in survival, the compass is almost all but useless. Enemies don't show up on it unless they're really close. 
locations don't show up on it unless you're literally right on top of them. There's a cat. I'm taking a picture of the cat because he's going to become a thumbnail. I, I, I have three cats. I have three cats and a dog. I love animals. Just not psychotic ones. Wait, stealing? Why is this stealing? Does someone live here? <gasps> Traitor? Oh shit, you have corn. What do you have? I don't think anything I could use. I mean, oh yeah, caps are definitely one of those things too that are in short supply. As you see, he only has 19. We have 38 rounds, but those are eight apiece. I'm not buying all that shit. I don't think I need any of this. Not right now, anyway. Mixed alloy scraps are used for repairing power armor and heavy heavy armors and stuff like that. Yeah. Most of my weapons aren't going to be worth anything. I mean, I could take your caps, I guess. Sell all these. too many. That's right, hard hats are worth a lot. Forgot about that. Hard hats are actually quite valuable. He's growing random stuff. That's weird. I, I, like I said, I discover new shit in this game every fucking time I play it. I didn't know there was a trader with a cat over here. I'm actually around near Sunshine at this point. Yeah, Sunshine's just south of here. I'm not, yeah, you can see the red tower from here. I'm not going over to Sunshine right now. I could, I mean, I guess. It'd be safer to take the bridge, though. It's this side over here. You go that way, all along the rocks. If you stay right on the water, you, you're normally pretty good. But there's a chance that Mire Lurks will spawn over there. And I don't have anything to fight Mire Lurks. I mean, I'm pretty sure my tire iron and my 38 rifle ain't gonna do shit to a mire lurk there's ghouls they're so far away son of a bitch my guns are terrible. Go get him, dog meat. Get him. Got him. Look at that. We went through half our ammo to kill two ghouls. That's why I need a scope. kill something dead oh what the fuck they killed a gunner colonel who had combat armor on didn't he have a chest piece Leather, leather, combat, leather, leather, combat, leather, leather. Oh, they were ruined. Damn it. But he also had a hunting rifle. A scoped hunting rifle. Oh, shit. Well, I'm happy now. Because the hunting rifle can use 556, 308, 
45, 70, and 50 cal, and all the variations of those. Right now I have a few 556 and a few 308. I'm definitely gonna have to take a scrounger for it. I'm only sneaking right now because if there are Meyer Lurks in the area, I do not want to draw them out. I figure what the hell, I'll go over there since I'm here. You know, it's just over that hill and it's only a few ghouls. I can easily use my 38. six yeah I can easily use my 38 to deal with the ghouls that's fine oh I've already reduced my rads by two I mean I could try and set up a settlement here but there's no point I wouldn't have the materials to make a beacon a generator and I wouldn't be able to fast travel until I had three settlers there, so there's no point. Not right away. Maybe later. Maybe after I've already established the Minutemen. Because I love to do the I like doing the Radiant Quests for the Minutemen and the Radiant Quest for the Brotherhood early game just to get extra XP. They also allow you to explore a lot more locations. Minutemen help you establish a lot more settlements. The settlements are definitely very viable. Okay, so we know that the magazine is in that one, and there's two ghouls in there. Um, this is quiet. I might be able to use this just to put them down. See, unlike the other uh, bolt crossbow mod, I can actually make the bolts for those. I can't make the bolts for these. Ah! Shit. Damn it, dog meat. Okay, that one hit dog meat. And yeah, now I'm out. Okay, he's dead. And yeah, that did a decent amount of damage. Now we don't need to use that. He's dead. Put the bullets right in his mouth. Hello, Mr. Goodfields. Aluminum cans. Cool. Some more antiseptic. Okay. Water is always water. You don't want to sleep. Oh, wait. No. This one does give you that. Holy shit. Okay, never mind. So I was wrong. That one, it doesn't give you double meat. What it gives you is you now get leather off of animal kills. Large animal kills. So, like, if I kill a Brahmin or a Yagwai or a Deathclaw, I get leather off of those kills. Which is good because you need leather. Uh, there's a dead one in here. Tell I've done this before. What I'm actually going to do is get some meat and leather here in a moment. The Lonely Chapel is not far from here. Did I get a disease? Motherfucker! They gave me a disease. I can't cure that. Well, I'm going to have parasites for a while. Really? You know what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to start fishing. Because with stupid parasites, I'm going to be stuck with that for a while. can't make a Skeeto tonic. I mean, I could use my Advanced Cure X, but that seems like a waste. It seems like a huge waste. Wow, that looks glowing. That's what I think, bitch. Really? Will you please give me some meat? What the fuck? I mean, thank God I got the noodle cups. At least I got something. Google is in here.
Go, dog meat. Or not. Okay, he's crippled. Come on! Fuck. I think I got some 9mm JHP for this. Let's see. 10mm. Actually, I have quite a bit of 10mm now. Of course he would replace the one thing that could be useful to me right now, a melt with pre-war food. I don't know what else cures parasites. I might need to pull up the guide. There's an online guide nice. for it. That's a big ass red roach, holy shit. Antiseptic, that's good. Some rad X. Can always use aluminum. Rad away, yay. I like rad away. It's definitely safe. Okay, so. I don't, yeah, like I said, I don't know what else killers parasite. I can now build here if I wanted to. Not too sure if I want to yet. Like I said, for more reasons than one. Let's see. Let's let's look at the level. I could do that one. I could do that one. Survival skills are actually going to be super useful. That's going to give me ammo. Yep, we're gonna go with ammo. Seems like it's much more useful. Wow. I got a prototype part thanks to that freaking skill. Seriously? Seriously? You're gonna play a fool like that? You suck. Okay, we got three letters. We got four letters. There we go. And there it is. Now nah, we're gonna leave them on. Why not? Okay, so make a bandage. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think. I think there's a chem that removes them, but I don't know which chem. Rebound, maybe? You know, I'll leave the cows for now. I can scrap the leather armor for some leather. Let's go ahead. Let's hit the bridge. Go around the outside of Concord because I'm not going through Concord. And get back into town. Wait, what are those? Oh my god, look at my scope float. It's fucking awful. They're too far away. Oh, they're friendly. Nice. Are they traitors? They got some 308 or 556. Five, I'd be willing to part with some of my caps. And that's for the MK18. I'm not gonna do anything. Excuse me. Hands where I can see them. I'm not Don't a Don't worry. Threat. I'm not gonna try anything. Oh sure. That's what they all say before pulling a gun. I could have shot your boss in the back of the head, and you wouldn't have been none the wiser. No fun in business. So shut up. 
cures insomnia, cures weakness. She's a chem vendor? What the hell? Well, guess what? You're gonna get all this crap. Bitch. Whatever, she's friendly. Let's just choke that up to, you know, at least she's friendly. I mean, I could go by Drumlin. Drumlin is near that power pylon right in front of me. Because that power pylon is... Um, Gorski Cabin. I don't know. I don't think she's going to have what I need, so it doesn't matter. Like I said, I'd have to figure out... What cures parasites? Let me just Google that shit on my phone real quick. So I'm doing it on my phone so I don't have to tab out. So there's a health management page. I should just bookmark this shit, honestly. Still loading. What the f no. Okay, screw this. I'm just gonna use my laptop. That's just my phone's not taking me the right page. Just, we'll just use the lamp. Oh, who are you? Hello. Excuse me. Good boy. You may want to keep your distance. Don't worry. I'm not going to hurt you. Oh, I'm not worried about that. It's just, well, I think I ate a bad can of meat. <sighs> okay. Maybe it was three cans. Seemed pretty tasty at first, but now... It's got my guts all in a twist. And, well, he ate bad you can meat. probably smell it from there. Long neck Lukowski's canned meat. He's farting. Ass. Long neck Lukowski's canned poison, more like it. Here, have the rest of it. I'm never touching the stuff again as long as I live. Assuming I live through the day. Ugh. And if you happen to see that Lukowski, tell him I hope he dies in a goddamn fire. Ugh. God. You know, Sorry. I'm not gonna lie. It would be Probably quite better if you get going. Funny. If it's anything like last time, it's S about to get kind of messy. Psycho cat. So yeah, that's what I need is psycho tats. That's the chem that cures them. There's that. We could go over there. It's only a couple of ghouls. Although I'm getting low on ammo, and I don't want to use that ammo either. 145. None of that. Very little of that. And all I got is a few 10 millimeter. And I don't think it'd be worth it. Not right now. Like I could go up to the ranger cabin and there, there's a magazine up there. How was he injured? He was injured. Nuka Cola. It's always good. Um, get the alcohol and cigarettes, though. Those actually have value. Alcohol, I mean, alcohol is good in a pinch if you need more carry weight. Like I said, if you're playing Frost, you need alcohol for your sanity. It's the easiest way to re reduce rads and increase your sanity without completely screwing yourself over. Because something as simple as red away and frost can ruin you. Frost is truly hardcore. So yeah, like, in order for me to get rid of that. Oh yeah, atomic scotch can do it too, but that's much higher level. Literally, the only thing that's going to be able to get me reduced is Psychotats 
or if I get super lucky, Skeeto Tonic. But I think I still need... Oh, fuck me. I think I still need a uh, rank in Chemist before I can even make Skeeto. I've been here. I don't even want to fuck with that rotting barrel, boy. Kick my ass. <laughs> You said I just want to go to the ranger cabin so I can get the free magazine. Because normally this magazine would be a terrible one. Because, like, it increases your damage block bare fist or some shit. It ain't that great. But with this mod, magazine spawns other than a few are not guaranteed. They're all random. Like you saw with, what's it called? Oh, I guess this one's... Yes. That's so, so gay. I thought that was supposed to be random. Man, that's bonk. That magazine sucks. Especially if you're gonna be a friggin' sniper. They're really not giving me any meat. Like, none. This is jacked up. It's like, I took a rank. I could go get the army helmet. What am I wearing? Yeah, I'm wearing a helmet. It's a DC guard helmet. It's 5 and 5. The army helmet's a flat 10. Wait, what is this way? 1? Yeah, the army helmet weighs 3. 3 to 5. I don't know. I'll show you how I get it, though. I can get it without taking a single red. Also, there's a blood bug over here. I think there's two, actually. Yeah, there's one that's dead. Because there's one in the water. And the water is so irradiated, it actually kills the blood bug. But that's only if he gives me meat. Nope. No good. Exotic. There's a bloat fly and there's another bloat fly. Dead. Dead. Okay. Uh, I saw this from another YouTuber. I'm going to show you. I didn't know you could do this. Grab that. But like the army helmet there. And send him in. He'll go get it. Avoid all that radiation. Even better, there's a medical box. Right there where my dot is. Let's see. Yeah, 10 and it's 10 DT for 3. You know what? I'm going to wear it because I like it better. I know it sounds stupid. Alright, and then you have him. Hey. Check. The Grab medical box. Useful that's all that's in there. Oh, there's looks like no, I don't think that's anything. What did he get? He got something. Yeah, that's nothing. Empty medicine bottle. Well, it's better than nothing, dog meat. I'll give you that, buddy. But yes, I did that without taking a single red. Awesome. We'll definitely say thanks to the Wanderer for that one, because he showed me that little trick when he was playing. And then What's even better is he lost dog meat after that. He like he told dog meat to stay somewhere and then completely forgot where he told dog meat to stay and yeah, from that moment on he didn't use him again until he oh shit until he unlocked Preston because he forgot where he told told him to stay. But thirty episodes later, he finally sees dog meat back in Sanctuary. I'm sorry, dog meat is my favorite companion. Not only because he doesn't judge you for your actions, but he's a fucking dog. Like how? Oh my god. Too bad they were all adrenaline injectors, but still. Like, how can you not love dog meat as a companion? I mean, he was in Fallout 3, now in Fallout 4. Yeah, who knows? Maybe he'll be in Fallout 5. I would kill to actually have a German Shepherd like that. I love German Shepherds. They're gorgeous dogs. 
I have a little mutt. She's a good dog, don't get me wrong. She's just a little mutt. She's... Mm, I don't I can't even remember. But yeah, she, she's not a little pur purse dog or a kicky dog, like one of the little tiny ones. No, 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 no. Not a little ankle biter like a chihuahua. No, no, she's a medium-sized dog because she weighs almost 100 pounds, but she's stubby. Because one of the breeds is Beagle. So... All right, let's check all our supplies. Uh, we're gonna grind meat first. Okay. Gotta save those. Can we make any meals? Make a bandage, why not? Ooh, there we go. Make fishing rods. See, using the grizzly meat. Oh, that's bait. I'm sorry, that's bait. You can make bait with different things. Like, I made bait with rotten vegetables. You can make bait with gumdrops, grizzly meat, corn. Just like in real life. Okay, so I really can't do anything other than a wasteland burger, which wasteland burgers are okay. I'll make one. They just require quite a bit for what you make. That for drinking. Right, let's see. We need to scrap some stuff. Actually, you know, I should make a scrapper. Why not? Um, oh, that is horribly off center. Seems like I'm sure somebody's OCD was telling them, What the hell wrong with you, man? Alright, let's make a scrapper. Only reason I'm going to make one now is because I can't scrap from my inventory. Oh, wait, I have a settler? When the hell did I get a settler? Wait, hang on, I need a bell. If I have a settler, I'll put them on... Oh, I can't do that yet. Shit. Oh, they took over the food. That's okay. That means I need to build a bed and some defense. That's fine. Let me build a battery for this. If I can. So it requires two power, which is actually quite a bit of power. But you can build a, gen a general battery for pretty much nothing. To, to power it. And all you do is you scrap equipment, click on it, and then you just click what you want to put in it. I want to put all this crap in it. Even the bolter. We don't need that one because I have a hunting rifle. Definitely don't need those. All the leather. Then you close it and it does it automatically. There you go. You scrapped 28 things. Oh, and uh, one thing, well, you, you won't get it until your first delivery, but when I'm waiting for my first delivery, and then I'll show you guys what you can do with the magazines. All right, I'm going to build, I think I should, since I scrapped all that shit, I think I should be able to build a turret at least. Yep, build two of them, perfect. So we'll put one there, and then I'll put one over here on my house. These, these, yeah, they they up they upgrade themselves. So right now they're pretty ghetto. They're just little pipe turrets. But as your workshop level goes up, they're going to become a lot better. So, and I think they're 360 defense too, which means they can protect from all sides. They just spin 180 degrees, but they can protect from all sides. One good thing about beds in this is actually there's a new bed. You might have seen it when I was scrolling through, but here, comfortable bunk bed actually counts as two when let me go ahead and make room for it counts as two when you put the bed on top so you make the bunk bed and then next to it you see that there's a bed that goes on top like I said I don't care about my settlers they can all sleep in one room for all I give a shit doing four of these plus the two tops 
gives me eight beds. So now I have enough settlers, or enough beds for when the settler group arrives. Plus this new guy, I just need one to spare. I probably will do that off screen just because it's so boring just to watch me sit here and scrap shit. But no, I was going to show you the fishing pole. Let me get a fishing pole out of the workshop. So you take the fishing rod out. You have to have a fishing rod in your inventory. You go to here, you click on fishing bait. If you have the pole, it gives you fishing pole with bait. And you go to a body of water. You can eat the fish directly out of the water, but I wouldn't recommend it. Because it'll get you highly irradiated. It's pretty gnarly. This is probably the last thing I do for the episode, just to show fishing. I am, I'm just going to do a little, like, do it with this one. So yeah, what you do is you cast it, and you exit your Pip-Boy. Actually, what the smartest thing to do is, is to macro it to a number, so that you can just hit it on your, uh, on your keys. So I put it on number 9. So I can't press number 9. It casts it. I caught something because my survival skill went up. Nope. Actually, I didn't catch anything. But your survival skill still goes up even if you fail to catch. And of course, as the higher your skill is, the more likely you are to catch something. After so many failed casts, though, it will break. It can also break on your first cast if you're unlucky. And you can catch junk. I've caught boots. I've caught nothing you can you you can catch different types of fish like i just got a fish uh i don't know what kind of fish it gave me but perch and what you do with the fish is you just take them to your cooking station and you can grind them into meat like there may be fishing recipes later on i don't know i'm not really sure on that one my survival skill is almost 15 just from doing this I'm waiting to see until it says your fishing pole broke, and then I'll know I'm done. There it is. Fishing pole is broken. All right. So we caught one, one fish. Like I said, it's better to do this when you have a higher survival skill, or you at least have one rank in, you know, survivalist. Um, but, I mean, you can use it to get your survival. I think it, it caps out at a point, kind of like fishing does and used to in WoW, like certain areas in world of warcraft if you fish you would you would catch to a certain level and then you'd have to move on not like now where now you just fish anywhere the hell you want and each zone has its own leveling system basically which is perfectly fine with their new system i actually like their new system play where you want to play since there's so many expansions to pick from you know new players can just kind of pick where they want to pick you know i know you didn't hear it from me but if you're going to pick an expansion you have to pick Wrath of the Lich King. For content... Wrath, okay, let, 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 let me clarify that. This is a final thought. Wrath of the Lich King for content, because it had the best expansion. Um, if you want to get a character to the max level the fastest, play Warlord's Draenor. I took an allied race yesterday, and I'm going to finish it up today after I shoot this video. And I took an allied race... Oh, I should have told you about this, but... Um, yeah, you can hit these. These are built into Horizon. What that just did is it did wasteland repairs to the bridge. You can even do that to the houses. Like, I can click a button and repair the roofs. I, do, I actually like the roofs looking decrepit. It kind of adds to the whole euphoria of being in the wasteland. But yeah, anyway. Uh, I took an allied race from 18 to 30 in about two hours. Just in the first zone, or the introduction and part of the first zone for the horde. I'm a horde player. Um, in Warlords of Draenor, like one of my buddies was telling me, like he got his character in like six hours, and he's a casual player. There's a guy that actually broke the world record or some shit, and he got a character from one to fifty in three and a half hours. And like leveling right now is super fast because well they, for obvious reasons they want new players and even old players to get their characters up as high as possible right before the expansion drops because as soon as the expansion drops they're going to start pulling those new characters 
I mean, admittingly, I'm not going to be playing my allied race mage. I'm going to be playing my hunter, my main. <laughs> I don't know why I'm wasting all the time with this shit. I guess it's just something to do while I'm having external thoughts. But yeah, so as you see, fishing is pretty good. You can use it like uh, I can show you. If you Once you get a fish, you go to ground meat. Scroll down through it. You'll find it down there at the bottom. Perch gives you some exotic meat. Uh, there's mutated catfish. Um, there was another one too. But yeah, like see the potted meat? I can grind that when my survival's a little higher. Pork and beans can be ground. Salisbury steak can be ground. Even like those meats can be ground. So they're actually quite useful. Uh, early on, the only meat you can really make, or food you can really make without much headache, is definitely the Wasteland Burger. If I can get three razor grain and get my survival to 30, I can actually make this. This will cure me. Maybe that'll be my goal for next video is to get my, to level up, take a point of survivalist and go find some razor grain. I got everything I need in order to make that, so. I'm, I'm like, I know for a fact, my dog meat just had one hell of a sneeze attack. Um, hang on, let me, let me compost all this crap stuff. So yeah, what you do with the grisly meat and the diseased meat and uh, fancy lady snack cakes, dandy boy apples, actually not cram, cram you can grind. Uh, those, you put them in here. And over time, it'll turn it into fertilizer. So. It's actually a really good rifle. Only thing that I'm changing is this. I run a mod. I'll show you what it is. And I'd highly recommend every player in the world download this mod. I don't really care about paint. I don't think I can change the... Okay, but yeah, I run a mod. It does call see-through scopes. That's my scope. That's the four power. The eight power doubles that. I hate, I hate with a passion transitioning screens. They're stupid. Why do you need to make a transitioning screen when looking through a scope? Like That was the one thing that really made me excited when I played the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare is it had see-through scopes. It didn't have a screen transition for scopes. When I'm looking through a, a scope in real life, both of my eyes are open. When I'm about to take the shot, I will close one eye. But when I'm scanning my lane, both of my eyes are open so that I can still use my peripherals to look around the areas to see if anything's moving. I don't shove my face up into the rifle so that I can't see anything. No. <laughs> but that's a whole other story. I could talk about proper firearms and everything like that for a long time. People that make video games, for the most part, don't know a goddamn thing about firearms. Sad to say, but true. So, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video of us playing some more Fallout 4 Horizon. It's been fun. Uh, I look forward to the next uh, episode. If you guys saw something you want, your you you know some more about Horizon you'd like to share with me, throw it in the comments. I will respond to every comment. I promise you. I have nothing better to do with my times. Thank you guys all so very much, and have a great, great day.